Hi, Anna. Hello. Hello and welcome on behalf of Florence Academy. Thank you. So congratulations, young lady. You've got overall eight band in your IELTS academic test and band nine in speaking, sorry, in reading. Yes, yes. Band Thank you. nine means 39 to 40 answers are correct. Yes. So you nailed it. Can you share some tips and tricks for our students on how you achieve this? Yes, yeah, sure. So the first and foremost question is uh, the strategies you have used to solve reading as a whole. Okay. Uh, okay. So the best strategy that I followed and something that I would suggest to everyone who's going to appear for IELTS would be to practice as much as you can. Uh, because uh, I believe the that is the best thing that you can do to score good marks in both listening and reading. Uh, and the more you practice, the more uh, you become familiar with the questions, you become familiar with the techniques that you should use, and it will help you to manage your time. Uh, so, and all this will result in a good score. So the best strategy that I would suggest would be to practice as much as you can uh, and do it in a really well manner. That's it. The practice makes a man perfect, as they say, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, most students struggle with the question type true, false, not given, and yes, no, not given. Especially false and not given, or no and not given, because it's a very thin line between these two uh, questions. So, how did you handle that? So, uh, the true or false or the yes or no questions were a very difficult part for me. I used to lose marks in that part when I used to practice. Uh, so what I did was I gave my utmost attention to those type of questions. And um, when I started practicing it more, I understood that uh, what what the first thing you should do is you should understand the question. You, should, you shouldn't just skim the question. You should understand it and understand the keywords of the question and then go back to the passage and look for the keywords there. Uh, and... I think that's something that everyone does. But uh, I'm just trying to make sure that everyone follow the plan. So you go back to the passage and you look for the keywords. If it's a true question, if, it, if the answer is true, then I'm sure that when you go back to the passage, the uh, corresponding keywords in the passage, the sentence would be correct. You can read it again and again. It will, al it will always help if you're confused about if it's, true or false just go back to it and read it again and again and so if it's a true answer then i'm sure the uh, corresponding keywords in the passage uh, would suggest that it is true and if it's if it's a false uh, answer then it would actually point to a completely opposite idea or statement what is what the passage indicates and if it's a not given statement what I have noticed is that uh, when you go back to the passage, uh, things relating to that topic will be there. Things uh, relate, uh, surrounding that topic will be there. But the correct answer or correct say, statement won't be there. So uh, when you read it again and again, you understand that, that that's not given in the passage. So that's how you reach the conclusion. And I would suggest that if you're confused, just read it again and again. So you have an idea about how to tackle this and practice too. Okay. All right. And uh, another uh, struggling part for students is multiple choice questions. Yes. So how did you okay, name so it? In case of, okay. In case of uh, multiple choice questions, what I would suggest is that uh, you shouldn't read the uh, multiple choice questions. The options first. You should just read the question and uh, see the keywords, go back to the passage, find out where the keywords are, and then at least read at least, a, a, you know, maybe your 10 sentences surrounding that keyword. So 
uh, you get an idea about what is happening around that passage because if you just read maybe one two line uh, maybe you might be wrong the conclusion that you reach might be wrong so i would suggest to read maybe uh, a whole paragraph surrounding those keywords and then come back and read the question again and the corresponding multiple choice questions and that that worked for me and i used to get uh, the right answer when i do this so that is a strategy i used to follow so all right okay another uh, thing many students ask me is about time management how to manage time effectively in the reading module because there are uh, 60 minutes and 40 questions and each passage is very long and tricky so how did you do it uh in case of uh, time management uh what as i mentioned at the start of this interview uh what i should i would suggest is to practice as much as you can because the more you practice the more you can uh, manage your time and understand how uh, how much time it would take for you to tackle passage 1 or passage 2 or passage 3 and also uh the more you practice you will understand what kind of method you want to follow because i was comfortable with a uh, going from passage 1 to passage 2 and passage 3 but some people might not be able to do that or they might not be comfortable to do that so uh, they might want to go from passage 3 to passage 2 and passage 1 i found that uh, when i followed uh, the 1 2 3 format uh, i could comfortably uh, do 1 and 2 and relax so that when i get into passage 3 i am more relaxed and confident about how to tackle that and also uh, i would suggest that uh, you get get a idea about uh, how to do each passage because the more you practice you understand what kind of technique you want to follow because i would suggest like uh, time management is purely uh, from person to person it might change uh, because uh for me i used to do uh, the passage 1 and passage 2 uh in 15 minutes each so that i get maybe 30 minutes for passage 3 so that i can devote more attention to passage 3 because uh, most of the time passage 3 is very difficult so i i get ample time to explore passage 3 well and uh, and i would suggest that uh, you also do that yeah yeah so time management is each one's you know personal choice right i mean how to tackle yeah. the questions you can't give ready made answer as such no. all right okay and the last question is about sentence completion type questions as well as match the headings okay so uh, in case of uh, the same this was also a tricky part for me i used to lose most of my marks in that part uh but what i did was uh i read the questions or i read the headings that are given in the question paper first and maybe read it once or twice so that you get an idea about what is going on and then come back to the passage don't read the passage the whole passage at one go because that might make it more confusing so uh, maybe read the first few paragraphs first and then see if it matches maybe the first first question if it doesn't then it's fine just move on to the next one i i would suggest follow that technique in the whole pa- uh, reading session because if you don't get one just leave it there go to the next one because you, the more you spend time on one thing the more uh, time you lose so uh, here also uh, just uh, go to the next one and see if it matches the passage 1 2 3 that you just read if it doesn't then it's fine just read passage maybe 4 or 5 and then repeat the same process don't read the passage at one go just take one question maybe read two one pa- one or two paragraphs then go to the next one and if you get get if you think that uh, this heading might be for this passage even if you are confused just write it down because then it might help in the end even if you are just confused just write it down if you are not confused if you got an answer then it's fine just write that also but even if you are confused just write it down because then you can at the end you can maybe uh, think about how it all comes together and this is the technique i followed and uh, i found that this was easier for me to do okay now i guess we covered it all thanks a lot for your okay. time
and all the best for you, you can give us the bye thank, thank you care. so much bye bye